Hi guys, it's Chris here from Tech Tablets with the Surface 3 in front of me here. I've got both of the models here, the 2GB version and the 4GB one which is on the right here. You can see I've labelled both of them just to make things a little clearer here. I've run 3D Mark Ice Storm Unlimited here on both of them. Both of the tablets have had a reboot and they are running nothing else in the background that's going to interfere with these scores here. So you can have a look here, the Surface 2 2GB model Got 23,760 there. And if you have a look at the graphics test number one, 117 frames per second. And on the 4 gigabyte Surface 3 model, slightly higher scores here, 25,133. And then we have the graphics test one average frames per second were 130, so slightly higher there. Probably because the Intel Generation 8 graphics that's on board has maybe a little bit more RAM to play with there on the 4GB model. The system can allocate a little bit more RAM there, so that's probably why the scores are different there. When it comes to scores on everything else, I've been running benchmarks. This is Geekbench number 3 here. The scores are virtually identical. There's hardly anything in it. There's 15 points on the single core here higher on the 4GB model and only two points there. So basically you can say that's identical. When you're using the systems, does the four gigabyte actually feel faster? Yes and no. At times it does, it seems to load things up quicker, probably because it's taking advantage of the extra RAM there. But I've noticed that only when you're multitasking is the four gigabyte version faster because you're not writing to virtual memory. You're not having to page, use the page file as much like you would on the 2 gigabyte version when you run out of memory. And this is the PC Mark 7 scores here on both of them. And the 2 gigabyte version came out on top, but I mean, 4 points is nothing. These are basically identical scores. Again, same kind of performance there. So really, performance-wise, they are both identical, basically. What it comes down to is the storage. So you have obviously more storage available to you on the 128 gigabyte version. You get around 103 gigabytes free, I think it was, and only about 36 on this model. 36 is very little. For me, that's not enough. I mean, 36. When you've got about 100 gigabytes to play with, that's a lot better. Now, if I have a look at the drive speeds of the internal eMMC drives here, I'll show you those now you can see that there is actually a bit of a difference here with the speeds. I thought they would be quite similar. You can see there that the write speeds are faster on the 64 gigabyte model and they are slower here on the 128. Why that is I do not know. Both of them are Samsung drives there. And you can see there's a slight difference here when it comes down to the 4K speeds as well. Read speed of 104, that's quite low. They are both low speeds. If you're using a lot of media files and things like that, you want to transfer videos, then you're going to have to be quite patient because they are slow. They aren't full SSD drives that you find in most Ultrabooks and other tablets as well, like the Dell Venue 11 Pro. This does not have an SSD. The Atoms don't support SSDs, which is a shame. It's a real shame that we've got those lower speeds there. So that's the key difference there in both of the models. What about temperatures? I did run HW info here in the background while I was running all the benchmarks and very similar. Maximum of 84 degrees here on the two gigabyte model. And the four gigabyte model got up to 79 degrees there. So virtually identical temperatures there. Slight difference there. Both of them have been in the same room, same ambient temperatures. So it's just down to obviously maybe the batch of the CPU there, slight little differences, and maybe the heat sink or something, very minor. So really, that's the only kind of difference there. But when it comes to multitasking, this one does just start to get ahead. The four gigabytes of RAM, you can do a lot more. You can open up more tabs in Chrome. You can open up Paint. You can do everything else. Uh, does it mean that the pen here is going to be faster or laggier on one of these models? No. In my tests that I've been using the pen, it seems to be exactly the same on both of them.
So there we have it. Those are the two models head to head. Thank you for watching and do subscribe if you are interested in seeing more videos like this one here on tablets and other tablets from China that I'm waiting on. Thanks for watching and hopefully catch you in my next video. Bye for now.